Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. I've got a lovely silver birch here that needs some work, so let's take a closer look. This collected tree has been in this pot for around two years. 12 months ago, I did some initial styling on it just to add some movement to the branches and I pruned off the main trunk here. Uh, and this branch has really thickened up, so that's great. It's had a healthy year, but I think now's the time to possibly look at changing the design of it and maybe just improving it and taking it forward really. It's been growing so well that it's put roots outside of the pot. So I need to take these off. And I definitely need to show you this trunk. It's, it's really nice and sort of old and gnarly. It's got a wound there. It's got this nice silver color on it. But at the bottom, it's got that darkness that, that you get with mature trees. As you can see, we've got this root up here, but then we've also got some nice roots coming down. It's just got some nice craggy old age to it, which I like. If any of you are super observant, you might have noticed that I was using a new pointer there. This is uh, satin wood. And I've got another one here, which is Zebrano. I made these today just to trial new woods that I can use for my new bonsai knife that I'm making for the handle. I really like the colour and pattern on this satin wood and the lines on the Zebrano are cool but if I'm honest none of them really touch this olive wood which is pretty special so I think I'm going to have to get another piece of that. Uh, and as for the knife itself it's a new bonsai knife should be really good for sort of carving out when I'm doing air layers and that kind of thing. Back to the tree anyway I've been looking at this this evening and I mean, it would be crazy to cut it off down to this one, and I wouldn't want to do that, because I do like the character and the, the silvering on the bark. I couldn't cut it to there either. And I see silver birch as a very sort of elegant, slender tree, although it's got quite a powerful base. I like this movement. My problem really is up here. I like the way the trunk curves upwards here. The problem is, this section here, it's quite nice and slender at the top, but this part is thicker than this part. You know, ideally I want it smaller to improve that taper, but it, it just sort of gets a bit chunkier there. And I'm just not really sold on it. So I'll start off just by taking that top off, just to have a look from there, see where we are with that. Because I could do that, but it just doesn't solve this problem of this thick, thick section there. So I think the best thing is going to be to take it off. From around here, it does actually look quite nice. So sort of this branch, this branch, this branch. It's like the classic sort of uh, Japanese style, but just doesn't work for me in the overall design. So I'm going to go in and she's gone. I'll rotate this back round to the front now and hopefully that looks better and I think it does before I start styling any of these other branches you might have noticed there are some quite long branches sticking up they're way too long so I'll just take these back to something a bit more reasonable and that'll help me to see the overall design of the tree once I've got rid of these really long branches like that there we go this one as well actually as much as I like this change of movement and I do I think it looks good the way this just keeps on coming out here it's okay but I think it would be better if this went a bit more vertically like that so I'm going to apply some vet tape and wire and bend that up On with some five millimeter wire now and when i worked on this tree last year i'd never heard of vet tape so i just wired this with plain wire and it went fine obviously it's a bit thicker now so i'm much happier to have the vet tape on there and because i've had such great success with the vet tape i'm kind of loathe not to use it whenever I have the opportunity now because I know it does such a great job 
So that's the first piece of wire on. That's gone on well. I'll cut this piece longer so that I can run it further up the tree because I've got a feeling that I might want to... I've got a feeling I might end up wanting to bend that top section. So this, this, this is a piece of cake to put on this, this thin stuff. But again, it adds great support and I'll come all the way up and in case I want to do this top bit, there's now a bit of wire on it. Nice bit of thick wire actually for that branch ready to go. I shouldn't really jinx myself by saying this, but compared to some of the other bends, I think this is a fairly easy one. Um, <laughs> that means it'll probably be the one to snap. And a lot of people don't sort of tend to bend birch because it can be quite a brittle, brittle tree, but I'm going for it. And I don't need to go crazy with this. You know, I don't want to put in some mad twisted contorted movement. I just wanted to stop it coming straight out. So that's fine. I don't need any more than that. What I do need to do now though is do something with these back branches around here that are now in the way. I don't think there's any realistic way of manipulating this one. I could perhaps bend this whole branch around and, and that could come in this way but fundamentally this is just in the way now. I'll leave a little stub on that. It's only a thin branch. Yeah, that's better. Looking from the front, this branch now is coming straight towards us. As we can see there, it bends right in and I'm thinking that will be better going a bit more up or even possibly back across. So by just taking that there, I think it adds a bit of interest to the top of the tree. We've still got some movement and I'd even like to take a bit of that out if I can by just, just taking that up like that. There we go, happy with that. There's a nice bit of gentle movement in this branch and there's a gentle curve in that as well. So I don't think I need to do any major wiring on these bigger structures, but some of these thinner branches, they're very straight and I'd like to just put a bit of something into them. So I'll apply some thinner wire onto these and come back. That's the tree all wired up. Unfortunately, I did have an accident. There was a nice branch that came out from here and I snapped it off. I don't know why, I, I just, I was a bit rough and it went, so sell la vie, it's gone. Nothing you can do about it. So let's get do the best job I can of setting these branches in position. So I'll start with this one because it comes straight up. I don't really like it going straight up like that. I'd like to add a little bit of movement in. I, I've got to be cautious with birch, you can't just go crazy bending it like you would with some other species. You know, I don't want to lose any more branches, you know. As I say, that one that snapped off, it snapped off right at the base. I just banged it with my hand and it, and it went, so. Yeah, I like that, that works well. And the one next to it, this is filling this space, sort of back here. Um, I think it'd be nice if it just had just a bit of shape to it like that. There we go. That's nice. Just adding a bit of something extra. Now what about this one? This is a really straight branch. It comes up. It naturally wants to come up and then I think I'll just take it down like that. So nothing too crazy, just a, a bit of movement. But from the front here, it still looks quite straight. So I think I'll, I'll go across with it and then back like that. So at least from here now, it's got a bit of something happening. Yeah, that's good. 
This one was quite a dominant branch, this. This is one of the big ones I cut back. I'll just take that across. Just a bit of gen gentle movement into it. Nothing too crazy. And I'm not, I'm not creating, kind of trying to create pads here. I'm just trying to create interest in the branches. For example, this one, it's just coming straight at us. There's a bit of a space here, so I'll just move it across, move it back. And that's enough. Just a bit of, just a bit of something really to stop them being straight. All the branches, if you notice, they're all sort of coming upwards. This one is coming across. So I'd like to, if I can just orient that up a bit and then again, bring these branches up like that with a bit of movement, that's better. And it's more in keeping with the rest of the tree. Again, same with these. You know, I, I don't want them weep, weeping down. Silver birch do weep. They've got like a weeping habit, but it's only the finer branches at the end. At this stage, generally, you don't really want them. I don't want these branches sort of low and hanging. But again, from the front there, that's quite boring, so... I will take it down first and then up just to add just a bit of movement, a bit of interest. There we go. That's nice. It's beginning to take shape. This is a very straight branch there. So that can come towards the camera. That's nice, that's good. Can I see any straight ones remaining? Not really. This is all a little bit cluttered from this front view, but I'm not bothered about that. Perhaps if I could just bring that around in that direction there, it just unclutters that front a bit. This does look a bit neater. And then to help that, if I can bring that round here, this round here a bit, and go a little bit further with that. There. That should look a bit neater. And it does. But then this is now reaching quite a long way out of the composition. So it's getting quite long, that. Hmm. These are the sort of changes that you make as, as you look along and you think, well, what do I do? You know, yes, I want it. I want the different branches separate. But I also don't want it really leggy, leggy looking. And, and so what I'll do here is I'm just trying to compact these end branches in. Like that. So we've still got that separation between this branch and those behind. See, it's still going out a long way there, that. That is going out a long way. I wonder if I should apply a thick piece of wire to this. And just bring this down and round a bit. You know, would that achieve anything though? You know, by perhaps bringing that down and up, it'll just bring that back. So I'm going to go for that. So. There we go. How's that? What's that done? Yeah, I think, I think if I can just add a bit more to that, 
then bring the top down there. Up she goes. And just down with these. We're getting some kind of compromise there in terms of the shape. Yeah. Yeah, see it's not reaching out as far now. It's not it's not coming right out there. That's kind of shortened it a bit. I don't want, really want to put any more stress on that branch. This is this is one I cannot afford really to to break. There. Oh, just a bit more on that there. That was nice. There. So I'm I'm sort of looking behind the camera now as I'm doing this with you trying to trying to kind of work this out. And I'm thinking I think I might have got this wrong, pointing it basically coming straight at, at the camera. It would be better if it came towards the camera and then away. So I need that movement at the bottom. I'm going to put a second piece of wire on. Right, so I've got loads of wire on this now. So hopefully I can swing it around towards like that. That's it. That's coming right round towards. Good. And now I want to get it away. There, like that. There. How does that look? It's hard to see now. This is so heavy with wire. It's hard to kind of see the structure. But... it get that away and then bend it round like that <sighs> at this point I start thinking what am I doing but you can see what I'm trying I'm separating this from this and for a proper design at the end of the day I needed that to happen otherwise it was never going to it was just never going to look right. So I can bring that back up now. That shortens it nicely. And these smaller branches can come round. So I think I've achieved the goal that I wanted, which is to shorten that branch, but also to separate it from the stuff behind. It's just a bit straight. Well, there's not much I can do about that, apart from perhaps just put that bend back there. I'm conscious about bending a branch back and forth on a birch. It's always dangerous. I feel like I'm messing with this too much now. Take that up, take that down. That's what I wanted. That's, that's what I wanted to achieve, that. It just took me a long time to get it. Yeah. Well, it's like I often say, I'm not, uh, I'm not a bonsai professional. I'm just somebody trying to learn and practice bonsai and doing the best I can with my trees. But there's times when I kind of think, what are you doing here? Right, let's do a 360 on that and see what that looks like there. I mean, it looks good from around here now. It's definitely compacted it. I've got this movement in. That is possibly a bit severe, that movement. I'm just looking to see, see if the branch has cracked, but it hasn't. But I'll just take a touch off just to make sure it doesn't. So the, as a whole, it is all fitting together nicely. 
I'm just thinking this one up here could now possibly come across into this space a bit more. Now that this branch has been lowered, there's a bit more space over here for that one. Likewise, this branch behind it can also come down into that space. And it's just beginning to, hopefully, I've snapped that there. But luckily, I snapped it just past the bud. <laughs> that was very fortunate. I've got a nice bud there, so I can just cut back to the bud. There we go. You have to push these th trees sometimes. Well, often you've got to push them. You've got to have a go. If you just leave them as they are, you'll never have a decent tree. I, I, I fundamentally believe that, you know. And if I've gone too far on this branch and it's died, which is possible, I've, I've overworked it, then it dies and something else will come back and appear and, you know, I've got that stuff up there. So it wouldn't be the end of the world. But at least I'm pleased with the way that that's kind of, the way that's gone. This is going to be a long video if I include all of this stuff now. And I think I'm going to, just so people can see the bonsai struggle. <laughs> That'll have to be the name for this video, I think. The bonsai struggle. If anyone's still with me now watching, I've got a collaboration video tomorrow coming out with Xavier. Xavier Martinez, Expressions of Grace Bonsai. It's really interesting. We've been working on it together for a couple of weeks. I think you're going to enjoy it. So that, I'm done with that. I'm not messing with it anymore. Once I get into something, whether it be fishing, photography, bonsai, I sort of, I go all in, I embrace it and I try to, it sounds bad to say achieve greatness, but I, I try to do my very best that I can. And sometimes it's a bit frustrating when things don't go quite as you planned. Like this, this didn't really, but I think I've got something in the end. I got there where I wanted. Hopefully that all lives and survives and I'm pleased with the direction it's taken. I'll put some cut paste on that wound now and call it a day. As always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.